Hey guys, sorry to keep you waiting. My name's Kid Venicus, and welcome to my first Christmas video of 2016. Even though it's the 16th of December, I'm a, I'm a bit, I'm a bit late, but that's okay. It is snowing outside, or it was snowing. There's a bunch of snow outside here in Oregon. There was a bunch of snow. I got out of school for like four days this year, extra on top of spring break. That being said, the holiday times can be stressful for a lot of people, whether it's family getting drunk. Good start, William. Family or being pressured in the, the gift giving process. And so I want to help you guys with some last minute nerdy gifts. So all these gifts are within like the 10 to $25, $30 range. Um, so if you look on Amazon or if you go to Target, I got a lot of this information from Target. Go to the stores, see what they have available. I think these will all make good gifts for... This, uh, certain kinds of nerds or geeks or whatever you like to call yourselves in your life. Without further ado, let's start with the collector's gift. The collectors are very hard sometimes to give for because collectors tend to have a lot of what they like and you don't know exactly what to get them. My recommendation... Funko Pop figures or mystery mini figures. Funko Pop figures are an amazing deal. They're like 10 or 11 or 12 50 where depending on where you go. But they are these cute little almost chibi versions of your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, video games. They have real life people. Um, they have a bunch of different people that you can get. And then mystery minis are even smaller stylized figurines that you can get for things like Steven Universe, Supernatural, horror, science fiction, Harry Potter. Wonderful little gifts. They range from about $6 in price up to $15, depending on the pop, um, if you're going to a normal store. If you're looking for specific pop figures on eBay, especially if they're more rare, they will start going up and up and up. For the readers in your life, I highly suggest the novel Ready Player One, especially if this gift is for fellow nerds or video game players. It is a love letter to the 80s and geek culture. It takes place in a dystopian future where teenagers and everybody are connected to this kind of cyber world. And the creator of this cyber world has a Easter egg hunt that he sets up. And basically, this one boy and his friends are trying to get the prize, which is like millions upon millions of dollars. It's a wonderful story. It's a pretty quick read if you get really into it, like I did. Um, easily one of my favorite books. It's my favorite book probably of all time, right next to The Fault in Our Stars. For the PlayStation 4 players in your life, the people who love them some Sony, I would highly suggest Uncharted The Nathan Drake Collection. It is a wonderful collection of three remastered games, Uncharted 1, Uncharted 2, and Uncharted 3, for like 20 or $25, an amazing deal. I've played Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 on the PS3, and then I saw my cousins playing Uncharted 1 on the Nathan Drake collection, but it's a great deal, uh, highly recommend it, especially since Uncharted 4 is out, and they're making a new spin-off game uh, called Uncharted The Lost Legacy. For Xbox One players, I was looking, and I didn't, I was looking at the target kind of price range that I was looking at, and I didn't see a game that was exclusive that I really liked, but I do highly recommend Batman Arkham Knight. It is, if you have played any of the Arkham games in the past, and you got turned off by the negative reviews for this one. Here's my story. I got, this was the first PS4 game I bought, technically. It was bundled with my PS4. I had like three other games. When I first bought it, I got the console started up and running at 10 p.m. And I played this game till 5.30 a.m. I played it for like seven and a half hours. It is a well-mechanicked game. The story isn't always the best, but I think it is a wonderful experience. Um, especially for the, how cheap it is now, like 20 or $25. It's a wonderful game to play for that price range. Just be prepared to drive her around in the Batmobile a lot, because that's going to happen f frequently. For the Wii U players, the Wii U is sadly on its last leg, what with the Nintendo Switch coming out. But what I would highly recommend picking up is Super Mario 3D World. It is a wonderful four-player game in which you can play as Mario, Luigi, Toad, or Peach with a secret character unlocked after you beat the main story. It's pretty easy as you first go and then you get to the difficult worlds and then you get to trying to 100% complete the game. Really, re really well-made game. Highly recommend you play it, especially with friends, although maybe not with friends because then you want to take the Wii Remote out of your friend's hand and then take the batteries out of it and throw it in either direction. That's actually happened to me when I was playing with a friend. For the Nintendo 3DS players, I would highly recommend... Ooh, 
Ooh. I would highly recommend picking up Animal Crossing New Leaf. That is also $20 with Nintendo Selects. What's to say about Animal Crossing that hasn't been said already? It is a one of the bases is ba basi bases is for Stardew Valley, and it is a game in which you make a villager. You're, you're the mayor in this game, so you can build buildings, and then you talk to the people around you, and you make bells, and you get a bigger house. You get cool Nintendo items. It's a wonderful experience, and I would highly recommend picking it up if you have a 3DS, even if it's not for a friend. If you just are looking for a good 3DS game for a good price, pick up Animal Crossing. For the film lovers, there are two movies that I would recommend, not because they're necessarily the best made movies, but because they are some of the most fun I've had at the theaters the last year or so. The first uh, movie recommendation I have is Star Wars The Force Awakens. I had a 100 word, word review planned for this, but then I, I planned on singing it, and it was, uh, it, was not, it, was not, it was not good. I would highly recommend picking it up. I say that a lot, don't I? It is a very fun movie, especially if you've seen all the Star Wars. It's very similar to Star Wars Episode Four and then Star Wars Episode One in some cases, but it is it is a lot of fun. It doesn't take itself uber seriously. It is, but it's not exactly the joking mess that the prequels were sometimes. And then the second film I would recommend is Captain America: Civil War. Again, not the best made movie, but I had a lot of fun with it. You get all you get Spider Man back in the MCU. You get all of these heroes together. Good time for everybody. Uh, especially if you watch some of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. I would highly recommend watching at least Captain America 1, Captain America Winter Soldier, Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron for watching this. For the musical lovers, I have three recommendations. I have the Moana soundtrack, uh, wonderfully written songs by the man, Lin-Manuel Miranda, who wrote Hamilton. It's a good time. It's especially go see the movie. I can't recommend buying the Blu-ray because the Blu-ray isn't out yet for this holiday season. But it still is a fantastic film, and it's a beautifully made film too. Um, one of Disney's best. Well, I mean, their most recent films have actually been really good, with Big Hero Six and Zootopia. Frozen was all right; it was overhyped. But highly recommend the Moana soundtrack, and then of course I recommend the Hamilton soundtrack, and I recommend the American Idiot soundtrack, just because those are my two favorite soundtracks of possibly all time. For the television lovers, I have three seasons of TV shows to recommend. The first season is Supernatural. It's available on Netflix, but always it's always nice to get um, a hard copy. Get it on DVD or on Blu-ray. It's on its 12th season right now, which is insane, so you gotta catch up, but it is a uh, interesting horror show that kind of develops into like a drama with angels and demons and God and Lucifer. Very interesting show to watch. The second is The Flash, season one or season two. Uh, fun, high energy, kind of character of the week show at some points. And then Daredevil Season 1, it is a Netflix original show, but then they've been releasing slowly but surely Netflix shows onto DVD or Blu-ray. So pick a, pick this up on Blu-ray. It's more $30 in that price range, but a uh, well-made, dark, serious show. It's a well-made show, and I highly recommend watching it, especially if you're a fan of the MCU, because this is officially in the MCU. And please remember that handmade gifts are always an amazing gift to receive. When you get a nice note or when you get a beautifully handmade drawing or if somebody sings a song to you, it's always better on like 99.9% .9 of the time than a purchased gift. So I highly recommend, I that highly recommend, this is, that's the phrase for this video, highly recommend. Draw somebody something, sing them a song, learn a song on your instrument, whether it be guitar or drums or trumpet or whatever it is, or write them just a nice letter. A nice letter is always a very nice thing to have so that you can pull it out at one point and read it and understand that somebody does really love and care about you. This is actually a longer video than I expected it to be, but hopefully with editing it's a little bit shorter. So thank you guys so very much for watching. If you find any of these useful, please let me down. Ooh, please let me down. Please let me know in the comment section below. This is probably a little bit of overexposure. Hmm. Well, I'm just ultra white today. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps. Comment down below what you would recommend to give to others for the holiday season. If it's a last minute gift, again, highly recommend Funko Pop Figures and Mystery Minis. And it's no, it's not because I have an addiction to them. Shut Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.